Webflow apps were launched at the end of 2023 and they gave everybody the flexibility to do that much more in Webflow. For the longest time, I was really happy that Webflow didn't have any apps compared to other platforms, maybe like WordPress, where if you install an app, you're gonna start feeling scared about your website and something breaking on your website. I just wanted Webflow to be out of that, honestly. But the way they have launched the apps marketplace actually made Webflow even better. They created more of a closed gated community of people who can actually build apps inside of Webflow and they added rigorous testing and review processes in order to get the Webflow Webflow app live. So because of that, we're going to be getting best of both worlds. We're going to still have the security aspect of it. And on the other side, Webflow is going to start gaining tens of thousands of new developers actually contributing to the platform and allowing you to do a lot more in Webflow. In today's video, we're going to be sharing top five Webflow apps. We're using Other Studio Flow Ninja on a day-to-day -day basis. The first app is going to be Wizd. And I personally believe that this makes the most amount of difference when it comes to Webflow because it's going to allow you to go ahead and create membership websites and even full on SaaS platforms by leveraging Webflow as the front end and with as the logic, which is going to connect to the front end itself. We've been creating many different platforms. We've also launched Six Star, our internal SaaS app that basically runs our studio. And we're looking to do that much more in 2024 by leveraging the tool itself. Xano. This one is actually making everybody no code. It's a backend database. You have a Webflow app for it, which is going to allow you to either use APIs in a much easier way and to get the data from APIs in a single place. And on the other side, if you combine with Xano and Webflow, you're going to be able to create full blown SaaS platforms, which can be as complex as you want them to be. And compared to Bubble, they can also be really, really pretty. Because in my opinion, Bubble is also a great SaaS no code tool platform to build no code apps on but when you combine these two apps and webflow it's gonna be a lot easier to develop pretty things and to develop front end on webflow compared to something like bubble data goat data goat is a custom analytics plugin for Webflow. This is actually our Webflow app. And of course, we're going to be a little bit biased, but we're really proud of what we're slowly achieving with DataGoat. For the longest time, every single website that we've done for our clients, and we've done more than 200 plus websites at our studio, was built and nobody actually knew what was happening on the website. Some of the companies had really complex teams which were doing analytics and stuff like that, but a usual marketer could not know advanced analytics on their website in a really easy to understand way. So that's why we built DataGoat to help you analyze your website conversions. Where are people coming from? What are your top uh, kind of sources? To identify where are people clicking on your website? To identify where are people going off your website? And much more than that, by leveraging a completely free to use plugin you can install in your website today. Vitzflow. Vizflow is going to allow you to host and serve videos on Webflow directly without using any third party software. This might sound unnecessary and not needed, but actually most of Webflow websites are going to have videos. If you want to have a completely branded experience and not lead people away from your website over to YouTube or pay some hefty loading fees for, I mean, like either Vimeo or Amazon, Vizflow is going to be a great tool for you to go ahead and use to upload videos to your Webflow website and to also manage how they're going to be looking like and to make sure that everything you're presenting on your website is on brand. Samflow. Even though Webflow has all of the SEO features out of the box added to the platform itself, if you want to go ahead and have a buddy near you who's going to help you optimize your website that much more, Samflow is going to allow you to have a little bit more advanced SEO functionality directly in Webflow. It's going to allow you to go ahead and scan for keywords, figure out which keywords you want to rank for, scan the speed of your website, and more of those things which are going to allow you to, in the end, create a better website and to optimize your Webflow website to rank better on Google. It's a really good tool if if you're starting out or if you're a freelancer and you don't have additional SEO people who are going to be helping out and actually creating maybe the SEO strategy and using some of the more advanced tools like SEMrush or other. There must be an app that we've missed so far. So if you have something you're using on a day-to-day -day basis in Webflow as a Webflow app or on a Webflow app that Webflow really, really needs to add, maybe we're going to be the one developing it, you can leave a comment down below and we're going to make sure to answer and test it out at our studio.